Yeah. We're gonna see snowfall tonight. That's right. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dart, and I'm back with another Snowfall video. If you're new, if you love Snowfall, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your comments below. Now, tonight we're going to be talking about Snowfall Season 3, Episode 10, the season finale. And I know a lot of people was kind of confused, including myself. I had to watch it twice, gather some more information up, and make my final conclusion on what happened in tonight's episode. Um... Overall, I think this was a very good episode once you understand what was going on. Um, now, a lot of people had a problem with the first 40 minutes of the episode. Um, and that's because a lot of people did not want to see this alternate universe. We wanted to see exactly what happened after Franklin was shot in episode 9. That's exactly what everybody wanted to see. They didn't want to really see the alternate universe. Even though the first 40 minutes of this alternate universe was brilliant. I mean, it looked it looked unbelievable. It looked like we was watching a movie, but a lot of backlash was coming. If you check Twitter, it was some people that actually appreciated the alternate universe and pretty much this alternate universe that we saw in tonight's episode was a different path, um, showing us the path that frankly would have took the different approach what would have happened. So in reality, either way, Either decision he would have made, he was pretty much going to be screwed either way it went. Now, I'm going to go over this the best way I can. I'm going to pretty much go over the first half as quickly as possible, and then we're going to get to the very end. Now, I checked up on Twitter and Instagram. I got some good comments. Um, so this first person wrote, basically, while Franklin was down, the hood went to shit. Man boy seized the opportunity to take Franklin's territory. The power vacuum saw everyone trying to get a piece of the action. In turn, gangs formed to protect themselves, hence the bloods and the crypts are grew. Um, now, the second comment that I, I got was, from the comments, I can see this episode went over so many, so many heads. It wasn't a flashback. It was a glimpse into what could have happened if Franklin chose a different path and what everybody else's path could have looked like as well. There was even a tribute to John, which we're going to talk about. Um, the young man filming in the hood. It was so deep and intelligent. The writing was superb. It was a genius season finale. Just genius. And also, this last one. They show Franklin in the alternate universe where instead of dropping out of college, he was kicked out. Instead of selling drugs, he tried to do it the right way. And it still didn't work out for him. Um... Those are some of the best comments that I saw, and it pretty much explained exactly what we saw in this first episode. So let's go over this first alternate universe, the first half of the episode. We see Franklin, he meets the white girl at his school, and she, they even talk about an alternate universe. I mean, they pretty set, pretty much set the the you know the grounds of the episode. We learned that Franklin is having trouble with financial aid scholarships. Um, and of course, we learned that it was Ronald Reagan with the budget cuts had a huge factor and these were some of the things that was actually going on at the time with Ronald Reagan and budget cuts and Franklin is having issues with his financial director. He's very pissed off at the dude. Um but Franklin thinks he can fix this and this is the path that he's chose. He thinks he can fix it. We learned that which we already know that Franklin is very smart. The dude is intelligent and he had a lot of potential to do good things, but the system was going against him. Now we see in this alternate universe, Teddy is there, and your boy Teddy is recruiting for the CIA. This right here should already let you know that this was an alternate universe because Franklin never met Teddy before, and he didn't know he worked for the government. You see what I'm saying? So we already know what we're getting. We're getting that back, well, not a backstory, just an alternate universe. Now, Franklin goes back, he talks to the financial director, um, and it's just issues, They're pretty much kicking Franklin out no matter what, and... Franklin pretty much got in a huge fight with the guy. Um, very sad scene for him because this is something that he really wanted to do. He wanted to do this the right way, but it goes to show whether he picked this way or the other way, he was pretty much screwed. A system was against him as we see him with his bags, waiting on his mother, um, going back home. It was very sad for him to do. And in any of the universes, whether it's reality or the alternate universe, 
Franklin had to deal with this or going back home, knowing that school did not work out um, and feeling that sense of his failure, that he has to do something else. And throughout the episode, his mother is trying to encourage him to never give up. Keep going. Don't be like your father. Just keep pushing. You can do it. And that's exactly what Franklin did. He was not about to lose at all. We see Melody in this alternate universe. And he's talking about it's pretty much the same thing that we already know about, about her going off to school to Spelman and everything like that. Um, everything just being OK. But we know in reality it's not going to be like that. We see Wanda and she's not on crack. You know what I'm saying? We see her clean and it's actually good to see her all cleaned up. And of course, Leon is there. We see Leon with the braids. And the whole thing with Leon, man, he was still struggling in this alternate universe. This was the early stages, so he was just trying to come up and make some money. And your boy Franklin as well was trying to come up and make some money. But Leon is pretty much just trying to get on with Jerome. Um, they just want he just wants to do business with Jerome to make some 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 cash. Now, the tribute to John Singleton. We see him and we see him with the pretty much this actually happened in real life. You know, they just redid it. And I was reading the comments, people were saying that was his son or whatever. But um yeah, this actually happened in real life. And John Singleton, I actually remember him talking about this and this was almost like that boys in the hood moment, you know, and they kind of put it in the show. It was brilliant. Uh, that scene, in my opinion. Now we get to Teddy, and Teddy is coming back, and he's talking to Franklin about coming to the CIA, working for the government. You know, maybe this can work out for him. I can get you back in school. I mean, of course, Teddy can clean everything up. And Franklin is like, okay, you know, you know, I'll take your word in consideration, and maybe I'll do this. So Franklin had the opportunity to do this, to go, you know, to the CIA in this alternate universe. But... We know things are not going to go well. We know nine times out of ten, if you're dealing with Teddy, bad things are going to happen. So this alternate universe at times was confusing, but it was trying to tell us a story. It was trying to tell us the story of what could have happened. So we get to Franklin and he gets robbed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's trying to get a job. He's trying to do the right thing. But. No matter what he tries to do, something bad happens. Then we see Andre Wright. Andre Wright is back, and Andre saves Franklin. He shoots the guy that tries to rob Franklin, or actually rob Franklin, and lays him out. Now, Franklin is devastated. He's like, man, you know, he's sitting shook. He just can't believe it. But in his head, it's just like, man, no matter what I do, no matter how good I try to do, negativity always finds me. You know, I have to play a I have to play against the odds. You know, I have to break the rules because the rules are set up for me to fail. You know what I'm saying? And we knew something crazy was going to happen. Everybody was just waiting for this episode to pretty much show us what happened later. And we get a sense of that when we see Jerome. And Jerome pretty much has experienced this gang war that we... Pretty much a lot of people, you guys was already predicting the game war happening with the Crips and the Bloods. And we see your boy Scully, he's back. And we also see Leon. Now, they made it quite clear that Leon was a Crip because he was in all blue. We see Scully, his boys and his people, they was in all red. So we know that the game war will be something that's going to happen in season four. That's definitely something that's major that major, majorly happened back in the day anyway. And then we see Melody, the part that we want to see. You know what I'm saying? We want to see this part. What really happened? As she shoots the gun, Franklin wakes up. And Franklin wakes up ice cold water. He's still recovering. He's still recovering. So, yes, Franklin was shot. It was true. And they made it clear because they showed you all the, they showed you the three shots that Franklin took from Melody in the last episode. They show his father grabbing him, holding him. And, you know, trying to get him together. Now, we know Franklin was shot in the summer. Now, it's Christmas time. So, it got to be a, probably around December. And then they show us the Snowfall logo once again. Letting us know that this is present time. This is now the reality. Which, like I said, this episode of time, it could have been confusing. 
And like I said, I had to watch it twice to understand it a little bit more. But as I was just saying earlier, L.A. Gang Wars, this is something that was happening that they're going to pretty much tell us more about in this next season. And Franklin sees all this all the time. All this stuff is going on. He see he's seeing everything and his mother and his father, they are pissed off about what's happening. They go and talk to Louis and Jerome and tell them that Franklin is out. He's done. And they pretty much want Franklin to come back. They're like, man, he, he's, he, he's recovering. He can come back. Franklin comes there. He confronts everybody and pretty much wants to tell everybody what he thinks. Now, he tells his mother and his father, like, look, he can't just leave. They want him to leave. They want to be out. They want to leave. Franklin says, no, I can't just leave the game. I want to fix this. Um, I can't leave my people like this. And his mother is pissed off. She's like, for the people, like, you see what this shit has done? Like, how are you going to fix this? Franklin wants to fix this. He can't just leave. It is not part of his agenda. Um, He knew selling the rock would give him a lot of money, but he didn't know. He didn't know exactly what this drug would do to his people. He's quite aware on what's going on. And since that's happening, he just can't leave. He has to finish the job. He has to play his part and trying to at least do something for the people. So we're going to see exactly what that's going to be in this next season. But we do know Franklin wants to continue to make money. Now, one of the best parts of the episode, Franklin going talking to Teddy and pretty much tells Teddy, like, look, I'm not afraid to die no more. You know, I know you work for the CIA. And look, you know, how about... We ride this thing out. I continue to bring you this money. You want to be one of the best CIA people ever. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go down to history. And then you're going to help me. We both going to ride out in the sunset. So Franklin is pretty much aware of what Teddy is doing. Teddy looked at him like, okay, I mean, you know what? You know who I am. Um, now, Franklin tried to shake his hand, but, you know, they didn't show Teddy shake his hand. I still believe Teddy cannot be trusted. Just like Franklin's dad told him, I just don't know. The dude, he's flaky. But at the same time, Franklin stepped up to the plate by letting him know. And the way he presented himself, Teddy couldn't even go off. Because if you notice in the past episodes, when Franklin kind of mentioned the government, Teddy gets pissed off and Teddy tells Franklin he can lock him up at any given time. So now Franklin is fearless. He don't care about none of that no more. You know what I'm saying? As he told Teddy. And... Like I said, overall, this was a solid season finale. Now, I understand some of you guys was upset because you wanted to see exactly what happened um, after last week's episode. And that's very understandable. Trust me. I wanted to see it, too. You know, so it, it was kind of confusing at first. Like, OK, what are we seeing? Is this a flashback? What is it? I mean, like I said, based on what I read and looked, it's the alternate universe. The description pretty much says it. Um, they pretty much said at the very beginning of the episode things that could have happened but regardless of what could have happened Franklin was screwed either way he was screwed either way so we know he recovered he recovered from the from the shots he took from Melody and while he was recovering he was out the game and while he was out the game the gang wars they rose they got big and big and got out of control and now Franklin has to come in and try to help fix this, get back into the game, continue to push this weight and settle things with Teddy as well. We're going to find out exactly what happened. I know everybody wants to know what happened with Melody. What about Julia, Gustavo? It's a lot of unanswered questions. A lot of unanswered questions, man. We're going to find out in season four. But like I said, at the beginning of the episode, it's like I was watching a movie. Um, it was crazy, man. I love how they put John Singleton tribute in there. Um, pretty much the boys in the hood type thing going on. And like I said, this show was crazy. A lot of people were saying that they was episode nine was the season finale. And this could have been, this could have been episode nine and they should have saved episode nine for the season finale. I mean, it is what it is. You guys let me know. Did you like the season finale? Cause I already know a lot of y'all didn't. Y'all wanted to see the action you know, guns blazing, which is very understandable based off the last episode. So let me know in the comment section, was this a great season finale? Or do you think they should have just got straight to the point? Do you think we needed that alternate universe? Was it really worth it? Leave it down below in the comment section. I still got some more snowfall videos for you guys coming later this week. So be looking out for them. But let me get on out of here, man. It's your boy, Mark Dark. 
I'm out. Peace.